Hello, everybody, and welcome to this month's top 10 mods and assets of the month for November 2020. My name is Biffa, and I am working in collaboration with Paradox Interactive to bring you these amazing assets this month. If you'd like to try them out yourself, don't forget there is a workshop collection link in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Right, let us dive in and see who is at number 10. And at number 10, we have Trolleybus Trailer AI by Kurzu1245. If you love your trolley buses and you like articulated or bi articulated trolley buses, then you might want to try this mod out. And as you can see, it adds that extra touch of realism, which I know a lot of people crave in their city builds. And at number 9, we have 106 Main Street by Room Mike. Now this 2x3 level 1 low commercial building is based off of its namesake found in Cooperstown in New York. Today this wooden frame building is used as a baseball card shop and a barber shop but of course you can imagine it's used for anything in your own cities. At number 8 we have Blues Point Tower by Robert. Completed in 1962 in Sydney this was divided as one of the ugliest buildings what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It's a 3x3 level 4 high density residential building about 25 stories tall. Could this be the largest building in your city? Maybe. But I'm sure whatever the case, your Sims will love to live here. At number 7 we have the National Pen Coliseum by N2J. This level 4 monument was based on a proposal for a skyscraper in New York City around 1920. And this amazing two-towered building with the fantastic night lighting really is going to stand out on your skylines. At number 6 we have Chinatown Ancient Times House by Trist1422. This is based on a building found in Chinatown, Melbourne, Australia, and from its simple brick facade to the ancient Times House sign over the doorway, I think this is a beautiful looking building. And we're at the halfway point at number 5, Japanese Suburban House by NOB 5050 6000. And this collection of eight Japanese houses just looks fantastically simple and beautifully well designed. At number 4 we have Ellipse Resort Tower by Keith3201. This is a tourism and leisure unique building and is Keith's first ever game asset. So if you like the look of this beautifully structured and unique looking building for your waterfronts then be sure to pop over to the Steam Workshop and let Keith know. And here we go, the top three at number three, House of True Lodgement by Leechvorts. Now this is based on an Art Nouveau style house as found in Poland and there's three different colour varieties you may wish to choose from. I absolutely love the detail of the windows and the facade and also at night the shops just illuminate beautifully. Well done for being at number three, let's find out who is at number two this month. And at number two is Cavanagh Building Buenos Aires by Lilma 4. Now this famous skyscraper can be found in Buenos Aires and is considered a pinnacle of modernist architecture. In 1936 it was the tallest building in Latin America as well as the tallest building in the world with a reinforced concrete structure. In city skylines you can place this unique building in your cities and bring that modernist architecture to life again in 2020. Now let's find out who's at number one this month and it's the Wolfgang Residence by Markinok19. Now this uniquely designed postmodern architecture futuristic building is a creation of Markinok's own imagination and I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. It's a unique building, you will need the ploppable Rico mod to go along with this as well. That will also be in the collection of all these amazing items that you can enjoy yourself. Well done for being at number one this month, Mark and Ock, with this fantastically beautifully designed building. Very excited to see what else you come up with. So what did you think of our choices this month? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the amazing City Skyline content coming your way from this channel. Thank you for watching. You've been fantastic. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.